Yeah, Kalos. Right. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, and the music is just... It's good. Chef it's good stuff. And this is a button check, I think, right away. Um, is it? I don't know. Is it's, it's not a check? No, it's not. They're it's going not into it. Check. Okay, yeah. I think I think Stretch Stretch is also a very patient player in his mm -hmm. own right, so he's going to wait for the buzz to... But Alma you know. is definitely not the character that you want to be hyper patient toilets because... He'll you know, blow you up. Yep. He'll... he'll Make He'll your just life get all this perfect pick. Look at that. He literally has a purple on deck. There's a blue one. Oh, it's like knocking him back so much. That purple Pikmin is ridiculous. I think another thing, Stretch is running in a lot too. And he's trying to wall it. I don't know yep. if he has much experience in this matchup. Um, again, I think just taking it slow against Olimar is such a great thing to do. Mm -hmm. Because you're not going to get clipped by the Pikmin coming in. It's, 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 it's kind of daunting when you're getting constantly wow. sniped out or like stuffed. And that, was that an up smash or an up air? I, I think that was an up air. That was an up air. That yeah. was enough to take the stock. I mean, granted, stretch was at 140 plus. And, and at again, that point. like I like I like how we cut the Pikmin down to size. Can you hit the Pikmin while Almar still has them? No, you can't. Okay. I think it's only once they're active, once they're yeah. thrown out to do. The only active hurt boxes, ish. What I have no idea what this guy has. Ooh. Uh, I wish I knew more, bro. And I, you see Stretch trying to knock him away, but his timing is just a little bit too early. And he wants um, to keep those purples on deck as long as he can, because those are what's going to be aiding him the biggest amount of damage, and those are going to be what's going to be stealing That's going to be what's steal. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, the blue is also on deck. I, he's not going to get much usage. Okay, it's just And dead. the neutral B was just actually so smart, because he right now he just cleared up every single Pikmin at once. Right now, uh, you see the buzz is sort of scrambling. He doesn't have anything to work with. Um, and right away to uh, all, uh, Pikmin. I like him keeping Stretch in the corner just for a bit. Uh, rather, keeping the buzz. I like Stretch keeping the buzz in the corner just for a bit when he had no Pikmin. It's definitely what he wants to do the most. The thing is, Alma really can't do anything once once he has no Pikmin. He's only really yep. got a few ma moves that have active hitboxes on them. I'm pretty sure he can't grab with no Pikmin either. Ooh, fantastic down tilt to up there. I think that's also like one of those DI Ooh, checks. Ooh, there you go. That's the first one. get the smash. Yeah, just do it. Just do it. Let it rip, yep. bro. You don't need to go for the emotional warfare or anything like that. Just no, do it. Just, 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 <laughs> just steal out the stock. And right away, oh my god, he just almost do it with his down B. I think it has like super armor coming out for M6 or something. That's just absolutely ridiculous. I think Shield Breaker is actually a great move to be using in this matchup mm -hmm. because the buzz tends to stay grounded quite a bit and will opt for Shield more often than not because if you're. Oh wow, Ooh. and getting it! And I love seeing all of his helmet crack. It's just a little bit of extra detail that <laughs> has a little bit of flavor to it. Um, and, you know, this right now is a very scary spot because. Stretch has a phenomenal ledge trap. Lucina naturally is equipped for ledge trapping, but uh, the buzz is able to fight his way throughout. Wow. Just man, man moding through all that. All right. Yeah, this is where he wants Ooh. it. Oh, no. He couldn't get the back air immediately after. He did regular regular get up and said. Wow. And the buzz missing the punish on the that The thing upbeat. is, the buzz I didn't think have to. Okay. He's got to watch out here because the buzz is a blue Pikmin on deck. Uh, if he gets that grab with that blue Pikmin, That's gonna be it's, a, it's a wrap. Kill. That's going to be a Yeah. Kill. That's not a god, that's a whole sandwich. Stretch, stretch, yeah, it's definitely a whole sandwich, bro. <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna be the up smash taking out Stretch for game one. Um, I'm not sure what Stretch has to do here. I don't feel like... Uh, he he has the right idea. He's staying in the buzz's face mm -hmm. and not getting too overzealous. And when the buzz is over approaching, he F smashes and yeah. he, he tries to wall him out. So he, he's got the right game plan. It's just like... It's a player of DeBuzz's caliber. I think he could be a little more tight on stuff. You have to be super disciplined against a player like DeBuzz. Yep. For instance, that Dolphin Slash out of shield might have been his like demise if DeBuzz had a stronger yep. Pikmin on mm -hmm. deck. And I think definitely in this kind of matchup, you're going to be securing a lot of kills offstage with your edge guarding. I think Switch has to like be committing offstage a little bit more. If he even might be dropping position, he has to close out this stock now. Yeah. I feel like all my was living. Uh, to some place that's really shouldn't be. You know, right away, like, Stretch just gaining all stage control. This is oh. his spot right here, yeah. I feel like, I, I understand the Gimp attempt right there, just the, the mm -hmm. attempt to get more damage. I feel like his ledge trapping is definitely going to be the saving grace here. Olimar really, yep. at, in the corner, he only has his smash attacks really to get him out of there. He's not fast enough to navigate around or cross up somebody uh, when he's in that position. Just I like, love him using the extended hitbox of the Pikmin to assist that there. That was lit. It's like this giant arc that you just can't touch because it's so absolutely disjointed from being seen after all. Um, I think that's definitely the way to go. This game is looking so much more confident for Switch. I think the choice of Battlefield definitely helped out here. This is Lucina's and Mod's arguably best stage. Absolutely. And um, I, I love his F2. management of his hitboxes too Ooh. and his, his patience on when to use the offense slash and most of his mm -hmm. moves. Stretch is showing a very good level of discipline right now. 
Gosh. However, we got two purple Pikmin on deck, so the Buzz is gonna have to make something. I like how the Buzz is throwing the Pikmin to stage, regardless of where he is, just to keep them safe. Because Stre Stretch has one main goal, and that's killing the Buzz. All right, he's got to watch out here, though. Any both of them are very, very confident kill percentage. Kind of just one successful edge guard from each player is definitely gonna take the stock. Um, I'm surprised down smash. Uh, ooh. Not the correct place to, to place that. I, I see the intention he went for with it, but I feel like. Just going for like a fair or a bear probably would have been there. There we um, go. Okay. Back here evens out the game. Um, the the huh. adaptation already by uh, by Stretch is honestly great. And this is like definitely where he shows off the fact that he's a classic player. He's been in the scene for a long time. He's just able to. Like if you notice his composure is just phenomenal. Like he doesn't get shooken up by anything. Oh. Almost getting his landing caught right there. The purple mm -hmm. Pikmin coming out. Now he exploded. I looked away for two seconds. My man exploded. That's all of mine. He's yeah. gonna deal just so much damage. <gasps> That's yeah. gonna be, uh, he missed the uh. F smash. He didn't have enough hit, quite enough hit stun for him to follow up into that. Um and now you just see him going through like these empty tomahawks. He's really, really, really conditioned him to to hold shield. I uh, think Stretch should be using more Nair when the Pikmin are attached to him. Just mm -hmm. to, just as more of like a just get off me tool. Like it's also good if he just does it in place, the Buzz really can't find a good approach unless he's like super mid range. Yeah. He's been he's gotten killed twice for that now from these jumps yep. from ledge. Uh, and this is definitely not wow. That's really smart. That upbeat covering Ooh. I've never seen that before. That was so so good coming from Stretch. And this is not undoable in the slightest. Um one more successful ledge guard attempt, one back hit, one anything at this point. We'll close off all my what, what the hell? It does what? have a hitbox that can suck you in, so that's really does. good awareness by the buzz. And in general, your parry window is a lot bigger, like the physical window for it is a lot bigger than your actual shield too. You might be dead. So Oh, oh no, he jump. saved his jump. So so smart it does. Coming from such you'll never see him burn that second jump unless he's just confident he's not getting off stage now. Right. Um, and that's how I feel like he was able to like recover so much against the buzz. It sucks against Pikmin because you already have characters that do like mm -hmm. a, a ludicrous amount of damage to them. Yep. But also the Pikmin, when they lash on you, they keep nicking at you. So I think I think Stretch's micromanagement of the Pikmin might have been a little bit better of something to opt for. Yep. I believe they're starting our pool. They are. So I think this is where we say goodbye. It's almost five o'clock, my guy. Oh my goodness. It's Four fifty-five. Are we at five thirty? I think we're at five. Right, um, Devin, can we get a confirmation? For Star Command. I need help. No idea. No clue? All right, thank Wait, you, Star Command. Wait, I just Command. heard an announcement, I think. So...